It's an early start and a five and a half hour drive from Melbourne towards East Gippsland. This is one of my favourite fishing destinations in all of Victoria. It has a special place in my heart due to amazing historical trips, memorable catches and spectacular scenery where the river meets the sea. I'm joined today by two of my close mates, Mark the Big Show and Trav. This system has been fishing well lately and we've heard whispers of flathead being caught up to 85 centimetres in length. We're feeling optimistic and thought to make things interesting, we would set ourselves a fishing challenge for the day. Our mission is to catch three target species but all at a certain length. To catch a flathead over 60 centimetres, to catch a tailor over 50 centimetres and to catch a prized brim over 40 centimetres in length. There are some amazing catches in this episode, especially towards the end, so get comfortable and enjoy the episode. Oh! Here we go. Mark's already out there. He's getting a head start on the gang. All right, we'll see you out there, Trav. Just surf it out. There we go. And you can see behind me, it's absolutely breathtaking. That sun is just coming up. And what's even better is the conditions are absolutely magnificent. It is like glass out here. But that is the icing on the cake. So these areas here, early morning, you get lots of bait skipping on the water. And that's when the fish are nice and active as well. So I'm pretty hopeful we might be able to crack that 40 today. So that's really the mission. But I think regardless, we're gonna have some pretty cool fishing action. So I hope that you can sit back and enjoy the show. Only five minutes into our session and Mark is already onto a solid fish, flicking some lightly weighted two and a half inch grubs. Look, you're turning the whole yak. Uh, whatever it is, it's good. Is it a big brim? Yeah. <laughs> nah, you'd be you'd be carrying on if he was the forty, mate. Have you hyped this up a little bit, this fish, or? Oh, he's a nice fish. Oh, yes. Not bad. Yeah, he's a 34, 30, yeah, so. Nice brim now, on the two and a half inch watermelon speckle, I think it was. Beautiful, mate. Awesome, it was a great fight. Thought he was a bit bigger. Wanna let him go? Yeah, let him go right here, ready? Don't throw them, dickhead. It looks terrible. Ah, because it gets that. Chomp. It's not a tuna. Yeah. <laughs> I decided to start my day by flicking surface lures along the shallow edges. Pet minnows and slippery dogs in these areas are often a great way to pick up some good fish. Oh, oh, you're on surface. Hey! Ah. <laughs> Oh, surface lure fishing is sick. Just a brim. Yep. <laughs> yes. There you go. Oh, got him, got him on the surface, man. Surface hit. Bet me no. Here we go. Brim on a bent minnow in the shallows. How cool is that? Big We're catching plenty of good fish, but nothing bigger than 38 centimetres at this stage, so yet to tick anything off the checklist. Oh, is there a flathead? Hold on a sec, I'm coming. Really? On the crank? Oh, 
Like you say. <laughs> Is it? No way. Holy shit, man. I can see it. I'm gonna get tired. Oh, 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 <gasps> no way, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> the big show's on fire, mate. I'm gonna chuck him in reverse. All right, hang, hang tight a second. Oh my God, that's a beast, man. That is a beast. <laughs> the size of this thing. That is huge. Shallow diving crank. Yep. That's the uh, jackal one. Man, look at the size of this flathead, guys. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Pimp River flathead. That, awesome fight. Look at the size of the golf on this thing. Oh, that is a big mate. flatty. We need to measure him and then chuck him back in. I've got a brag mate just here, mate. Yeah. He's... he's 60 centimetres. Well, there you go. All right, let's get him back in the water. Hey? Eh? All right. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, it's going to go. Yeah, yeah. Look at it. There we go. Oh, look at the size of that thing, dude. It's a bam river. 60 centimetre flatty on a jackal chubby. Doesn't get much better than this. The big show. Woo! We can finally tick one fish off our checklist with a 60 centimetre flathead now on board. That means now we have to set our sights on a 40 centimetre brim and a 50 centimetre tailor. Oh, the footage should look good, man. Oh, here we go. Yep. That's a brim. No, low 30s. No, he's probably 32, 33. Oh, shit, I must drop my net. Right, right. Oh, no, he's a bit bigger than that, actually. Just a tad bigger than that. There we go, and... Away he goes. The midnight oil grub. It's that all-time greatest... Mid I reckon I caught about 300 brim on the last trip on this midnight oil grub. Yeah, where that yellow kayak is past this guy, that's where I got the big one last time. That was the 39 right there, along those trees. Yeah, yep, it's exactly where I picked it up, so. Oh, here we go. Yep, gotcha. Oh, actually. Oh, I dropped, oh no, he's there. Oh. Come on, please be. Come on, come on, be the fish. Be the fish. I reckon this is a good fish, boys. I'm serious. Come on. He's coming straight to you, mate, so just be careful. Oh, he's pulling drag. Come on. I'm standing up on the take on that one, too. Jeez, he's heavy. Come on, be the 40 centimetre brim. I can't see it, I can see Lido, I can't see the fish. Oh, it's a huge brim. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, that's a 40. That is easily a 40. Yes. Well done, man. <sighs> that's chunky. Man. Look, at, look at the thickness of it, man. Look at that. That is a thick, thick fish. The old, ever-reliable midnight grub. This is what this trip was about. We had a few missions out here, and that was to catch a tailor, catch a flathead around 60 centimetres check, and catch a brim around 40. And I tell you what, this is a very, very, very thick fish. So pretty confident this is gonna be 40 centimetres.
41, boys. 41, exactly 41. All right, well, there you go. That is 41 centimeter brim. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. So that on the one or three kilo rod, four pound line. And what they do is they use the little bit of current in here and they really try and fight you. But that is just an absolutely magnificent brim. And I tell you what, we've worked hard for a fish of this size, but that there is an absolute ripper. I'm thrilled. That has made my trip because we've had a number of target species, but big, big brim like that is the number one on our list. And uh, we're gonna get this big girl back in the water because that is a magnificent fish that should live on. And uh, we respect and love these fish. He's kicking. There it goes. That's so good. <laughs> Who needs enemies, mate, when you got friends like Mark? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. He's right on the spot where I got it. <laughs> so that's the 40 centimeter brim and the 60 centimeter flathead ticked off our list. Now to set our sights on that 50 centimeter tailor. Nice and easy, boy. I haven't got it to the surface yet. It's a flatty. Um, oh, oh, geez, I'd say over 60. Yeah, I think I've pipped him, man. I think I've pipped him. 59.3. <laughs> Look at that. Bem River flathead, 59 centimeters. What a ripper. All right, let's go. In you go. Big splash just in front of me. Huge one. Yeah, it's about where it was too. Oh. Yep. Hey guys. There's a big, there's a heap of them just here. They're all busting up. It's Taylor everywhere. I reckon we might get some cool surface action in here. All that structure and trees and branches and stuff. You guys are doing good today. Shit. I don't think I had the camera on for that. No, I didn't. Oh, no. That was the biggest surface take I've ever had, and I didn't have the camera on for it. I don't know. Far out, man. Holy shit. That was insane. That was the best surface take I've ever had. Oh! What the hell? What the hell is it, Travis? 
Did you see that jump? That was crazy, man. Oh! You don't need the net, it's gonna jump the Holy shit. It's a big tailor. Oh, no, no. Oh my God. Oh, that was the craziest take I've ever had. What is it? It's a big tailor. That went bang and then leapt out of the water by like it was insane oh <laughs> that, on a surface lure too man so i've just flicked across to a diver slippery dog come into the shallows very first cast just twitching it down you get the walk the dog style and i had the camera off and this thing just went bang smashed it on the surface and then leapt i'd say probably a good two meters out of the air it's the best surface hit i've ever had and it's a big tailor absolutely phenomenal i had the front camera on but you're not going to see that here that was just unbelievable and this is a really good size one too so that is so cool look at that so on the Daiwa Slippery Dog, and obviously you have to watch the teeth on these fish, but that was the most ferocious take on surface I've ever had. I have caught bass, I've caught estuary perch, I've caught bream on surface, I've caught redfin on surface, I've caught trout on surface. Nothing has ever hit as hard as what this fish just did now. That was absolutely insane. Uh, let's get this aggressive predator of Bem River back where he deserves to be. That was insane, man. And that's mission complete in our day here at Bem River. Means now we get to spend the rest of the afternoon enjoying ourselves and getting into a few more catches. It's going to be a good fish. Yeah, a little uh, double clutch in a sort of a prawn profile. Yeah. I thought, given where we are. <laughs> I reckon you've got a good fish on, mate. I'm going to come to this side of you so that I can see you when it gets close. Oh, look at the colours on it, man. Jeez, that was really deceiving. It's not that big at all. There was no fight in that. Yeah, that is a very, um, look at the colours on it, mate. Beautiful fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, it's probably, probably 33, 34, but that's a surprise. Very shallow diving, eh? Oh, that's a nice fish, mate. Yep. Doesn't feel huge. Just a... What is it? Oh! It's not a bad fish, actually. It was just swimming this way. Oh, it's actually a nice brim, man. It's actually really not... Pretty good run. You might be asking, well, what sort of gear do I need? So... Let's start with lures and soft plastics. And what I'd recommend is definitely want to take a couple of packets of two and a half inch paddle tails and two and a half inch grub. So you can pick and choose your different brands and different colors. That's very much, I guess, up to you and a personal choice, but they are absolutely dynamite. We have caught countless fish just with those different types of soft plastics. Very, very cheap to buy, very easy to rig up. Um, so all we have been doing is rigging them with Things like 1 20th of an ounce jig head, 1 16th, you can move all the way up because it is obviously very, very shallow. In terms of lures, you definitely want some shallow diving minnows and some shallow diving cranks, okay? Again, you really need to understand the depth that you're fishing. So where we are fishing today, at the moment, we are in 1.3 meters. So you don't need mid divers and deep divers because all they're gonna do is just hit the ground and accumulate weeds. So shallow divers that just go underneath, they work really, really well. And I'd say the other thing that you may want to have is, you know, some of the optional extra stuff, like maybe some surface lures, maybe some crab or yabby imitations. Those sort of things go really, really well. In terms of the gear, one to three kilo rods, two to four kilo rods, the heaviest, 2,000 size reels, that sort of stuff. Make it a lot of fun. But as we've seen already today, there are some big, big fish in here. Mark landing a beautiful 60 centimeter flatty, but there are also some bigger models in here and um, you want to just be prepared for anything because in these systems you can catch something like this and you can catch something like this but that's a great starting point in terms of lures and soft plastics and some gear there and uh 
What a beautiful place. If you've never fished these areas, I'd really, really recommend you get down to these regions and give them a crack because you will really, really enjoy yourself. So we've got a heap of stuff on scout mode here. You can see all the fish, all the fish in front of me. They're about two and a half meters out from the active target. They're all here. And they just don't want to bite. Oh. They're everywhere. Certainly plenty of life down there. Yeah, finally. Yeah, I'm watching them on the screen. I was just wait for one. Beautiful. Look at him. Look at that. Cracker. See you, buddy. And we just drift all the way back in. We're getting a bite here. I was getting a bite. Come on, finish the day with a 42 centimetre brim. I think I've earned it today. Here we go. Oh, man. Come on, be the fish, please. Oh. I don't know, man. It's heavy. This is the lightest rod, dude. Oh, it's a big brim. Come on, come on. It's a 37, 38. Can you imagine if that was 42? I just went, oh, I'm due to catch a 42 and then bang. But that is a beautiful brim from Bem River. That was on the Z-Man Slim Swim, which has been a long time favorite and good producer for me. But um, I'm gonna quickly measure this fish. There we go, look at that. That is absolutely magnificent. This is why people drive hours and hours and hours from Melbourne to go to East Gippsland for fish just like that. What a cracker. And there's nothing better than watching a beautiful fish swim away. Well, this is it. What an unbelievable trip it's been. Some amazing catches, some awesome company. I think we've captured some pretty awesome footage too. So I really hope that you've enjoyed it. We'll get out for this space because we do love this place and there's no doubt we will be back sometime soon.